Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of the Deity Twins Invade Canada. I'm here with Marbazir. Say hi. Hi, everyone. So, uh, from the last episode, there's actually been mm -hmm. a, a long pause in real life because there was a lot of travel and crazy activities in August. So, we uh, we took a nice opportunity to, you know, review the state of the game here um, between, you know, before starting this episode. Yeah. We were quite happy, I think, that we took Palenque and all that. Oh, yeah, I mean, for sure. Great victory last time. And this is now Fallout 4. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there, I've got a graphic glitch. For some reason, I've got, yeah, mm -hmm. weird smoke all over the, the screen. I have no idea what could have possibly caused that. Mm. But uh, you discovered we have a bit of a problem. Yep. Just yeah. a little bit. Now, <laughs> we might be able to prevent Pakal from winning the game for a spaceship, or he would do it himself because AI tends to be really bad at transporting units around. So he's currently building spaceship parts in Tikal and Uxmal, which means he might not be able to transport them to Venice. But I is really bad at using airports, and he can't move these units, these spaceship parts directly to Venice. However, we have a different problem, not related to the spaceship. Pakal is actually going to win the game pro culture in 14 turns. Yeah, despite so, losing yeah. his capital and having yep. basically no wonders mm -hmm. left at all. He's still getting 540 tourism with Spain, which is really unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, so unless Spain dramatically increases her culture output. Yep. That's it, because we can't declare war on mm -hmm. the Maya again. Yeah. We would probably be able to take Oxmal and Tikal quite easily. I'm but sure we yeah. could. We can't if, actually if it was do a anything. culture victory in like 18 turns, because <laughs> yeah. what is it, we've got 15 turns mm -hmm. of truce? Yep, yeah. 15 turns. So if it was like 18 turns of truce, we might be able to like rush in there, take away uh, the last couple of cities, because it's Tikal that's making like huge tourism, if I recall. Uh, Venice is getting 150, but Tikal and Oxmal are getting 50 tourism each, despite having no wonders whatsoever. He does have the internet, so that gives him plus 100%. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we would be able to prevent a spaceship victory, though. AI is just really bad at moving these units around. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's spaceship engine to the northeast of Tikal right now, trying to no, move. I don't have a spy in there. Mm. And that's the thing, you, you pointed out that we're uh, quite ahead of some of the other AIs. In yeah. Fact, like, Carthage, I think, is quite mm -hmm. far behind. Like. If it weren't for the fact that Palenque, that the Maya were a monster, yep. we'd be okay. Yeah, we would be more than fine. It might still yeah. be possible to even win a domination victory if Pakal wasn't about to win the game. It's mostly the tourism. Spaceship wouldn't even be such a big problem. Is if that, we hadn't mm. taken care of his capital, I think it would yeah. have been a big problem because he would have mm -hmm. had a lot of production oh, yeah, that's true. Sort of yeah, we, we would have to do bit. something about Venice. Mm -hmm. But now his two major cities are completely isolated Yeah. from anything else. Mm -hmm. And then Venice is connected to other things, but as you pointed out, they're all puppets. Yep. Oh, he's really yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. And it's funny I mean, because you know, maybe we could have had a stronger mm -hmm. start, but I I don't know. Like mm. uh, Pakal just went crazy. Yeah, but it's funny because culture victory usually isn't a problem on data because there's usually one, two or three AIs with crazy big culture pull, so mm -hmm. that kind of prevents any single AI from getting culture victory, since they can't get influential with all the AIs. So okay. Spain is at war with them. Mm -hmm. yep. like I was hoping that we get some negative modifiers, but that's because the ideology isn't having happiness, right? Mm. Yeah, I did bribe I was... uh, Spain to go toward Pakal from what I remember at least. Some of these modifiers might change in the next 14 turns. That's the only thing that we can really hope for right now. Yeah, I, think, I keep checking every mm, turn to see yeah. if the numbers have changed. Yeah, same. They have a bonus for having less happiness. Hmm. And I don't we think we can do anything do about anything? that part. <laughs> Spain wants a uh, nuclear non-proliferation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might actually pass. Do you have any nukes still? 
Uh, I think I do. Uh, yeah, I have one atomic bomb somewhere. I lost my nuke. Where is it? I'm voting against it. I wonder yeah, if probably... Pakal has any. I don't see any in Venice. Because if that passes, this is our last chance to get any nukes. You get to keep the nukes that you already had, you just can't build new ones. I could send you the gold for a nuke, just in case. Yeah, I'm confused, okay. Just in case I'm we'll actually be able to declare war before this game ends. Mm hmm Why can't I see my nuke? What am I... am I blind? Uh, try F3 Cause... and check the unit list. Right, right, right. Because it would show up like an airplane in a city. Mm hmm Yep. No, I must be reading the display wrong, because I, I mouse over my uranium, mm -hmm. and I have two, okay. but I'm getting my get two from you, but I got minus one, and I think it's from the atomic bomb, from one atomic bomb, but I can't find it. Maybe it's in a build queue. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vancouver is just two turns mm -hmm. away from completing it. Oh, all right. Um, that's unfortunate. Um, yeah. I mean, I suppose I could buy one. If you did send me money. Yeah, I can uh, send you money. How much do you need? Let's see here. Atomic bomb is... Oh, jeez. I need... Uh, I need 1,400 gold. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can. Because I'm that. losing 51 per turn. All right, done. That's most of my gold. It anyway. Thank you. All right, let's build one in Moscow. Oh, I think we'll... I had one that actually destroyed mm -hmm. when someone nuked me last time, too. Well, we'll have one nuke at least. All right. I suspect it might pass because AI quite likes having nuclear non-proliferation. Yeah, they do. It usually passes. Well, just, a, just like people in real life, I suppose. <laughs> How unreasonable of them. I mean, really. We have been using nukes a little bit, and we have been nuked. Like, it's actually... Mm -hmm. It would somewhat make sense for us to not want it either, but... We're not playing realistically here. Nukes are still our best chance to do something about Pakal. If we get the chance to go to war with him again, yep, it passed. Yeah, just open with a nuke. It kind of sucks for you because you lost all that production in Vancouverish. Yeah. Uh, Pakal wants to be friends. <laughs> Sounds legit. Mm, no, we prefer to work alone. Best friends forever? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the nukes, bro. <laughs> Feel bad, man. D don't mention it. <laughs> I don't even think he's one of the deceptive AIs, so that's very strange. Well, I'm moving some of my units towards Venice, just in case we actually get a chance to declare war. Mm-hmm. Well, it's Tikal that has to fall the fastest, but you have enough new units there to take it? Oh yeah, I do have enough units. And Pakal right. doesn't really have enough defenses in there. Oh wow. Can you see Uxmal? Probably not. Not inside. He has a giant death him. robot in Uxmal. <laughs> okay, these things are a little bit scary. They are actually better now than they used to be. I think they used to have like two movement or something like that. Long ago. Now they have five. Oh, I've never built one. Ever. Oh yeah, I built them in some of my games. Mine have never gone that late. They are pretty awesome. So when... world ideology order has passed, which is not terribly surprising. They are great when you have them. They have 150 base combat strength, so that's pretty scary. And five movement points. It's a good thing I've got a nuke. And we don't even have modern armor, do we? Nope. I don't even have tanks. No, I've got uh, bazookas and paratroopers. Mm. They do require uranium though, so he can't just spam them endlessly, <laughs> fortunately. Uh, friendship with Carthage, that sounds fine. We're not going to go to war with them that soon. Sounds like a great idea. In this case, probably not at all, because we won't have the time for it. Yeah. If we did go to war, you could pillage the... Oh no, that's your uranium, never mind. Yep.
Let's move you to Vancouverish. Till ten mm. turns away. More caravans. But seeing how Venice is generating 150 tourism per turn, even if we took Tikal and Uxmal, culture victory would still be a problem regardless. Oh yeah? Because he's very close to being influential with Spain. He doesn't need huge amounts of tourism to get there in reasonable time. Yeah, but if he has pretty low tourism, he might not be able to outpace her uh, culture gain. Yeah, but I mean, most of his tourism is coming from Venice, so we would have to take that. 158 tourism in Venice right now. Okay. I thought, all right, where, before when you were talking, I thought most of it was coming from Tikal. Mm. No, no, no. Yeah, Only all right, Venice. 52 tourism per turn in Tikal. Okay. So that's not that much. Venice has quite a lot of wonders, so that's where it's coming from. It has the lover with full theming bonus. Oh, yeah, that's massive then. Mm. Sydney Opera House with theming bonus. And a few other wonders. It also has a hotel, an airport, and then Pakal has the internet, so it all adds up. Tourism tends to snowball massively right at the end of the game. I'm not sure if he yeah. has National Visitor Center, whatever it's called. It's from no. building, what, museums everywhere? He doesn't have that yet. That. He probably doesn't have hotel in every city yet. I think that's what it requires. I only uh, okay. built it like sense. twice ever. Hey, I'm going to finish the Manhattan Project in five turns. <laughs> you, you didn't have it? Oh. No, I was building it. I didn't realize I was the only one doing the nukes. Not very useful anymore. Yeah, because you can't build any more nukes unless you can repeal things, and I don't think that's ever going to happen. Yeah. Our only hope is Spain taking Venice right now, which probably won't happen. They would have to nuke it, which they can't anymore. They are trying, but... Yeah, it's not likely to happen. Unfortunate. Oh, we're not gonna do that. Mm, I can move you to Tullum. We can run routes out of there. Yay, I don't have negative aluminum anymore. All right, how many turns we got left? Uh, nine turns. Oh, I got yeah. some aluminum. If you needed it, I could have sent you some. No, no, I was just uh, in the negatives because one of my eight stacks had gotten pillaged. Oh, OK. So I'm pretty well off. I think what we should do is we should play out at least the next nine turns. Oh. We're definitely not going to put in a cut. Look at Venice. Venice is actually taking damage now. If some kind of miracle happens, maybe Spain will actually take Venice. Ah, oh, that would be glorious. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. If Spain actually takes Venice, we'll be back in the game. But if not, we are still kind of screwed. <laughs> I'm well, sending... there's one other possibility. Is mm -hmm. there any chance... When does my peace treaty end? All right, because I, you pissed out before I did. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, Mine will end on turn 446. Yep. Oh, am I on the wrong screen for this then? In seven turns. And he will win. In six turns. So Spain has to take Venice in the next six turns. And even then, it won't really make a big difference because Pakal is still getting tourism elsewhere. Yeah, mine ends on turn 446, yeah. Ah. It would probably give us a very small window to take his other cities. 
Yeah, it would be like even if we took Venice instantaneously, mm. yeah. I don't really see how yeah. it would possibly work. It's just way too close to being influential with Spain. Mayan giant death robot. Two of them. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> At least he's using uranium for giant death robots and not nukes. He might not have any nukes left, hopefully. Oh, that's true. I mean, he can't. He obviously can't build any mm. new ones. Yep. But, but if he had yeah. any before that proposal, then he kept them. Well, Spain is trying. Uh, I think I actually have happiness, so taking the gold sounds like a good idea. Yay, I'm not losing money anymore. Ooh. This would be so close. But how different would this game be if it wasn't for Pakal snowballing out of control? Yeah, like if he'd just been something like 5% slower mm. in the start, everything yeah. would be completely different. We could have declared war much, much earlier. Yeah. You know, maybe if we go back and review all the videos, we'll find a spot where like, oh, if we did, you know, maybe there was a window here, but it felt like it was very hard to find a good spot for it. Oh, yeah, it was. We are only on turn 441 and AI already has giant death robots. They usually don't get them that early. I don't think Spain will take Venice. They don't have enough firepower. He's barely taking any damage. Uh, hang on. Yeah? The Maya are no longer influential with you? Wait, hold on. Am I reading that right? No. Mm. No, I don't think so. They are very what's influential with me. What's the difference between influential and dominant? Wait, 100 and 200 percent. Yep, dominant is oh. 200%. <laughs> All right. Okay, I got so excited. I'm like, wait, mm -hmm. wait, wait, they're not influential anymore. <laughs> but their influence is falling with you. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I got excited, but mm -hmm. shit, yeah. It's still purple. All right, all right. I don't know if I've ever seen dominant before. <laughs> yeah, it rarely happens. I guess it shows exactly how much tourism uh, that the Maya are putting out and exactly how much culture the Spanish did have. Yeah. But it, like that, you know, it, he reached dominant with basically everyone else yeah, this before is he true. managed to flip Spain. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, he's been dominant. Uh, I mean, influential with six out of seven civilizations for how long now? Mm, yeah, Spain a long, has, long time. Yeah, Spain has 53,000 culture. 53,000 culture. To compare, I have 12,000. And you have. 16,000. The second it's highest. A lot of culture. Yeah, the second highest AI has 30,000. That's Carthage. So, yeah. That's like 40% less than Spain. That's mm -hmm. a pretty big difference. Oops, it's actually not what I meant to be. Interesting. I have zero oil. Oh, right. I remember not having oil. Yay, the Manhattan Project. You know, that's one of the other parts that kind of sucked about this game. Strategic resources. We had no oil. I don't yeah. have... Oh, I do have coal. Not much. Because having bombers and fighters would have helped a lot. Yeah. Bombers are a pretty good way to win wars on maps like this. But not when you have zero oil. Yeah, the game really handed us something quite poor here. Yeah. I think I might want to play another Scrambled uh, Nation or Scrambled mm -hmm. Continents map after this because it's kind of interesting. Although I have to say, uh, in my South America game that I'm playing, it does feel a little bit resource poor, but I might have just I might just be imagining things. Or I could have gotten a bad roll or something like that. I actually this Canada tried. map certainly didn't feel mm -hmm. poor. I actually tried the South America map a while back and it felt mm -hmm. like massive for standard size. Yeah, because it's so long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's uh, really big. I don't think I'm going to accept this research agreement uh, with uh, Isabella right now. I don't think <laughs> it's going to matter. And just in case, I want to keep my 600 gold. Just in case. You'll be influential in two turns, so 
some kind of miracle would have to happen right now. Have faith, man. It can happen. <laughs> I'm not even sure what would have to happen in terms of game mechanics. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got so many using units around mm. Ushmal as well. Like, he's just loading them up there. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mechanized infantry, giant death robots. That's the helicopters, pretty harsh. <laughs> which are pain in the ass, too. Yeah. Although, if I nuke, then it's going to be a lot of hurt units or dead units. You will probably get demolished by giant death robots. Uh, probably, yeah. I mean, the best melee unit I got is infantry. That's 70 combat strength. Giant death robots have 150 base combat strength. These things are just insane. I just discovered the uh, Great Barrier Reef finally. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe we, I don't even have satellites. It's so sad. <laughs> oh, you're right. You don't have satellites. Oh. Well, I do, but it's not like it helped me. The Canadian Great Barrier Reef, everyone knows about. Yeah. Well, you have a wonder, uh, natural wonder near you, don't you? Or did Spain take it? Uh, wasn't there like a faith mountain or something? Mm, yeah, there was oh. something. Oh, yeah, right. That's the one near Alicante. Mount Kailash. Yeah. And we lost. You have well, <sighs> this was fun regardless. <laughs> <laughs> I did enjoy our nuclear war. <laughs> It was. That was very satisfying. Mm. Uh, the, the, the Maya were very, very far ahead of us militaristically yep. and everything, and we were able to take the city by uh, precise nuclear strikes. My land is still smoking like hell, but I don't know. <laughs> Apparently we all speak Mayan now, though. Yeah. And wear blue jeans. Yeah. Mayan jeans. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if I can get the replay going here with the graphs. Uh, is it the graphs that I want? Maybe. Certainly the map. You can actually see in score where the mm -hmm. uh, the Maya were shooting up like crazy and then just dropped suddenly. Oh yeah, that's true. Like we had a yeah, massive impact mm -hmm. on them. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let me get culture per turn. He started shooting up around ten. Actually, I have no idea which turn that is. But he started shooting up massively at one point. Mm -hmm. And then he lost a lot of score after our war. This is no. You can't get the tourism output on a graph. No, you can't. It's actually kind of silly. It's pretty stupid. But I'm pretty sure you can't. Only total culture. Maps. So... You know, I actually think we would maybe be able to win this if it wasn't the fact he won through culture. AI is usually really bad at finishing the spaceship, especially when their territory is totally disconnected. Mm-hmm. So I actually think we would maybe have a chance purely through AI stupidity. But nope, tourism. Damn. It well, happens. I, I hope everyone enjoyed watching this game despite the loss. I actually, yep. it was a pretty exciting loss. Though. Oh yeah, there was a good little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I think we did as well as we may have been able to. I definitely enjoyed our nuclear war a lot. Oh man, it was a blast. Oh, that's right. I remember I beat up. Who's the red people that are no longer existing? Oh no, they still have one token city. Was that uh, hey, Morocco? Morocco. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I crushed them. That's going to count yep. for something too. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to uh, both channels and uh, stay tuned for more Civ 5 Deity Twins. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye bye.